I think, David, there are so many steps that would have to be taken before we would get to that point. And it would depend on what kind of attack it is, where it is. Um, it would depend on whether uh, that was uh, something that the United States would want. Um, you know, there have been some different circumstances where, um, well, like for instance, after the French terrorist attack, um, that it was discussed, is this an Article 5? But France never asked because they really didn't think that was the best approach. And so I, I think it, you just can't, um, you can't have a hypothetical on Article 5. You have to know what it is. And I'm told, um, Nick Burns, one of the former ambassadors, um, I'm told by him, you know Nick uh, as well, um, that the night of 9-11, um, that there was a groundswell, that it wasn't initiated by America. And he was getting the calls, this is an Article 5. Do you want a, a council Article 5? And he called Condi Rice in the middle of the night um, and you know the hours difference, the seven hours difference, and he said, "I'm being inundated with offers to do Article Five. What do you think?" And she said, "Yes, yes, do it." But it was a question, and she said yes, and it's the only time Article Five has ever been used. So, and and you know when you talk about, are we committed to NATO? The only time Article 5 has ever been used was when NATO said, this is a war against all of us. Uh, and before we leave uh, this question, North Korea, I'm, I'm curious whether uh, the subject uh, comes up in your NATO ambassadorial discussions, whether you get uh, questions from your colleagues, whether we share, even though it's out of area, uh, discussion of of military issues that arise uh, because of the North Korean threat? You know, it's, a, it's just beginning. When North Korea tested the ICBM, the long-range ballistic missile, which, when you look at a map, it covers Europe, too. I mean, it could, if it were effective and if it were in a good missile. That type of missile could cover all of Europe as well as uh, the western part of the United States. And that began then a discussion uh, about North Korea as a threat. It's not anything that has developed yet because I think Kim Jong-un has been so clear that it's making trouble for America. I mean, that's his tar target right now. But I think the, the ambassadors now at NATO, and I, I think everyone is beginning to say, um, this is something we need to look at, we need to start talking about, because the complication is that if you start looking at North Korea as a common threat, which we believe it is a common threat, we believe that if this becomes a successful possibility, it's not going to be just America. Um, it will be a, a much more um, problematic uh, uh, situation. And I think that is beginning to, to come to the forefront. But I think that it it becomes a complicated issue because if you start doing a missile defense, which we have, uh, we have one in Alaska, we have missile defense, and we don't, but Japan has a missile defense system now, um, and South Korea. Um, but all of our missile defenses in Europe are toward the Middle East. If you start putting it toward North Korea, then it starts beginning to be um, an issue for some of our treaties that would not allow that. So all of that is in the very early stages of being discussed, what are the issues, but 
decisions, no. But issues, yes, it's beginning. It's, uh, it's interesting that the, that the discussions uh, have, have begun.